Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Chat Stuff, where today we are chatting Pride in UK feedbacks. So this is a brand new feature to our channel. You've seen Adam and Craig do stuff, now it's time for Adam and Craig Chat Stuff. And because we are in Pride Month, what a better way to kick off this new feature than chatting about Pride in UK theme parks. We got to thinking about this because we've seen Pride events popping up across the globe. Uh, Disneyland Paris have been doing one for quite a while now. Paul Ventura this year had a Pride night. Um, there's one that's often held at Fantasyland called Fantasy Pride and we've seen California as well this year. Yes. Um, do one for the first time. Also UK theme parks have started to sort of dabble haven't they? We've mm. had Thought Park introducing new uh, Rainbow theme park merch. We've had Thought and Chessington both flying the Pride flag in their recent Mardi Gras events, so they're definitely starting to dip their toes in. We've even had drag events at um, Towers Hotel as well. Oh really? Yeah, oh, so um, it, it's bubbling away the, the, under the surface there. And if you remember the fireworks last year at, Fop at Alton Towers, Rita, the Rita set oh, was Rita. very... Very calm. Very calm, <laughs> yeah. Very calm. It had um, drag queens on the screen, did it, on mm. the screen, didn't it? Yeah, the, the Pride colours. Mm. So I definitely feel like it's time that we had a full Pride event. And I think it can be done in the UK. Yeah, I think it can I be think done. we've got the space for it in our UK parks, definitely. So the first question we want to address is why? Why should theme parks do this? Why should they invest their money? And why do we need it in the UK? Um, and it's no secret that LGBTQ plus rights in the UK, in the US and across parts of Europe are really taking a back turn. We're really going backwards in terms of um, what's happening to um, the rights of queer people at the moment and even just people's opinions sort of across the media, across social media. Um, it's really becoming quite a dark time, especially for the trans community. Um, and these type of events not only provide a safe space for LGBTQ plus people, um, but they are in a sense a protest. Don't get me wrong, they're a very fun protest, um, but they are a protest. Even just existing in a sense is a protest for compared to what people think. Mm. And if you've ever been to a, um, a, a Pride event, they're just full of like fun and positivity mm. and you see people just smiling and enjoying themselves and I think that's because they feel like they can just relax. And, it's a space for people to be who they are. Yeah. I think it's especially important for younger LGBTQ plus people um, to have these kind of events, to see these kind of events mm -hmm. and see people um, that are living as themselves, that are happy um, and as I say that just being themselves it's really important for younger people um, I think to come to these events. Also we've had um, theme park events springing up all over the shop now I mean uh, Chessington, Towers, Drayton, um, I don't know if oh, Blackpool's had an Oktoberfest mm -hmm. so does, yeah. theme park events are really really becoming a lot more popular in the UK and I think we've had the same lineup for a good couple of years now, Oktoberfest and Mardi Gras are pretty staple, so I think it would be nice to change things up and have something different. And of course, that June space I know would take over Mardi Gras, but to be honest, I think it would be worth it. Don't you? Mm. Yeah, so the next question would be whereabouts would these events be held? And I think really there's four parks that we have in mind, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. there's Towers, Chessington, Thorpe, and Blackpool. Um, and do you know what? I, I may even throw Drayton into the mix as well now because they've been hosting events a lot lately, haven't mm, they? They have actually got one. Um, Drayton have done they've done a Dino event, Vikings event. Um, they've got summer vibes coming up, which um, we're really excited for. So there's potential there as well in in Drayton. I haven't been to Drayton for a while, so I don't know really what it's like in terms of space. Mm, I can't remember. Um, but. They've, they've definitely got events under their belt at the moment, so that's, that is definitely potential. Chessington, I would say there's definitely potential there because they've been flying the progress flags during the Elma, and they call him Elmo then, the um, Elma the Elephant mm. um, section of their Mardi Gras. So, and they've had pride flags in the entrance before, yes. so they're definitely up there as one of the contenders. Um, I think I would think you could get a parade through Chessington, couldn't you? Yeah, probably. Um, and I mean, Fort Park managed to do a parade. Yeah, they? and the small space. That I think got. the issue with with um, Chessington and Thorpe is space, isn't it? I think yeah. both of them. That's yeah. the main issue. Probably for Blackpool as well. To be honest, mm. is, is issues of space. Um, Towers, I think, would probably be the my ultimate choice. Yeah, because it's got. It has got the space, hasn't it? They've got, got that huge space on the lawn. Yeah, the stage that they use for 
top octave yeah. distance they can put Max on there. Yeah. They've got all the bit in front of the lawns that mm -hmm. they can use. Um, sorry, not in front of the lawn, in front of the towers where they put Food Street for Mardi Gras. They can put stalls and stuff down there. Um, they've just got such a, a massive, massive space and they can decorate all the towers street. They always do an amazing job at mm -hmm. it. Um, and in, com in when you compare the events that they do versus Thorpe, we haven't been to many at Chessington, but the Oktoberfest and the Mardi Gras are always better at mm -hmm. all yeah. towers, aren't they? So mm -hmm. I think that would be my top pick. Mm -hmm. um, but then of course you have got Blackpool, and Blackpool is a bit of a dark horse when it comes to this. Yeah, because it's in a town, isn't it? And it's a town that holds Pride events as well. You're in June, during, during June, Pride yeah, Month itself. Yeah. Um, so they could, if they did do their own pride, they could team it up. Um, team it up. They could co what, co coordinate. Mm. They could coordinate it so that it's with Blackpool Pride. Um, they've got the hub that they can use for and entertainment. Yes, they've had a small any, past, yeah. you know, I was, the arena, <laughs> I was getting to that bit. I was getting to that bit. Um, and then, as Adam just said, they've got the arena as well, which we've been to Clubland mm -hmm. um, a few times. Quite a big space, isn't if, it? Yeah, if you've ever been in there, they do hot ice in there, and it's a really, really big... Obviously, the ice isn't there when you go for Clubland. Um, they've got a really, really big space. They've got seating, they've got standing, um, and so if they wanted to pull off a proper event with acts and stuff, they could, couldn't they, in the mm -hmm. arena? They could do a really good job and then have entertainment in the hub during the day. So I think... Towers and Blackpool probably mm. will be my two my two favourites. Probably Towers is a bit closer yeah. to us <laughs> for selfish reasons. And I reckon like they the parks are definitely thinking about it, at Fort Park especially. I think that's why they've um brought up the, the merch, which they've called for Pride. And even at Mardi Gras they had um the masquerades um of all different styles, but one of them was a pride masquerade and then in their Mardi Gras parade the very beginning of the parade was like a pride train wasn't it it was it yeah there was yeah. lots of rainbows then I think they did have the pride they flag. The, I think yeah. they had the progress yeah. flag but yeah um on the yeah so you think they're testing the waters then I reckon that, See what yeah they're. I reckon yeah um and I definitely think considering that Pop is the theme park that you're most likely to be homophobically abused at, um, as lots of people have reported in the past, including us. Mm. Um, I definitely think they're the ones that need it the most, um, and they're the ones that need to make the statement the most. And so the most important question, of course, is what? What would it look like? What would they do? What exactly is a theme park pride? Um, and whilst there is a slight difference from other events in that there's a statement to be made about people's rights and about acceptance, um, and usually um, money from Pride events goes towards charity. We do know that Thorpe are donating 10 15%, I think, of their yeah. profits from the Pride merch. Other than that, though, it's really not that different from most events, I don't think. Mm. You'd have themed food, themed drinks, entertainment, merchandise, music. Yeah. Um, so it really, I don't think it would be that much different. Um, in terms of food, we've had some amazing themed food from Coach House Confectionery, mm, haven't we? Yes. Um, outside of Curse. Mm. If you watched our vlog that we did recently from Subterra, we bought one of those cookies, cookie we sandwiches, did. didn't we? Yeah. Spookwitch. Spookwitch. <laughs> um, and it had this sort of green drizzle on it to be all sort of spooky. Mm. Um, really easy already. If they just dyed that drizzle, six different colours, mm. the rainbow, they could drizzle that across. Mm -hmm. and immediately you've got a pride cookie. You don't even yeah. know, you need to do that much to it, do you? Mm. Um, and I think, in fact, um, I don't know if it was Paris or California, but I saw some pictures of um, them doing Mickey Pops with the trans colours on, oh. with the, the light blue, the light pink and the white. And again, you could um, you could do that with a cookie, just drizzle pink, white and blue across oh, yeah. it. Um, it's really not that difficult. They've got plenty of cupcakes at Coach House yeah. as well, haven't yeah. they? Um, and it's not hard to do, well, I say this as a non-baker, but I don't think it's hard to do like rainbow frosting on it. You just put the six colours in and then mm. pipe it on and you yeah. get, immediately get a rainbow colour on there. Um, alternatively, you can put like um, sprinkles or hundreds and thousands inside the cake and they sort of melt away and they yeah. create like rainbow um, spots. 
And you sometimes get like the layered sponge, don't you? You see that often. Yes. Yeah. So it's really common mm. in like pride events and pride bakes. Is you yeah. get like a slab of cake, don't you? And it's like six, mm. six different colours inside it. Um, we saw a van actually at Leicester Pride that sold them, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and of course, mm. when they do like fireworks and Mardi Gras, they have independent food trucks, so they could probably get one in that could sell that. Yeah. Cake. And the donuts, they sell donuts for Mardi Gras, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Um, so I imagine they could make a pride version, pipe some pride frosting mm -hmm. on it or some pride glaze. Can't you get rainbow fries as well? Rainbow fries? Yeah, they made, I think they're made from like different coloured vegetables. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure how well they go around down, but you know, it's yeah. an idea at the end of the day. Isn't it? I think for Mardi Gras they were doing burgers and stuff as well, weren't they? But I don't know how you'd... Maybe make a rainbow coloured bread bun. Do you think you could... And they've done stuff like that for Halloween as well, I think they? I'm sure they've done like black ones there's, and yeah, red ones. They've def definitely yeah. dyed it one colour. Yeah. How easy it would be to make it all six colours, I don't know, but mm. we're just we're just throwing out the ideas, it's their job. Unless maybe you do like a burger that's like, I don't know, like tomato sauce and then maybe like guacamole and I don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And let's not forget about the black ice cream as well from Coach House Confectionery. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they could dye that different mm. colours and do, like, mm. even if you just do it sort of layered, yeah. ice cream in a cup. Looks like charcoal, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it stains everything. Like, if, even if you look at the ice cream machine as they've got in there, it okay. stains it black. Um, but that aside, um, they do the freak shakes as well, don't they? So you could maybe, like, if you do like it in a clear cup, you could pipe the ice cream in one at mm. a time and make it different colours. Yeah, and slushies, maybe slushies. Slushies, yeah. yeah. I yeah. haven't got on to drinks yet, yeah. but Adam's, Adam's <laughs> dragged us in. Yeah, because they all do slush, don't they? Mm. Merlin were doing star slush, but that might have changed. And um, Blackpool have got like that whole slush puppy thing, haven't they? Yes. I'm sure they've still got that. Yeah. So you could easily sell rainbow flavoured slushies, do the different, um, the laser different colours, because the colours do stay laid, don't they, in mm. slush. And slush, unless you mix it. Yeah, and for adults they can do a vodka version, mm. just literally pour a shot in there. We had some vodka slush Journey to Hell, didn't we? Oh, we did, yeah. Mm. Yeah, forgot about that, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. There is also a cocktail that's called the Rainbow, and it's like Caruso, orange juice, grenadine, vodka, something like that, and it sort of layers up a rainbow. Is that what we had in Orlando? Uh, yes, yeah. we had it in the Coca Cola yeah. thing. That was nice. Oh, yeah. That was really cool as well, because it came with little rainbow yeah. teddy bears on yeah, it as well. Yeah, gummy bears. That was yeah. so, so good. Mm, cocktail stick, yeah. And it was so, so good. If they did something like that, that would be phenomenal. Mm. And let me assure you, people would snap that up, mm. wouldn't they? You could probably do it. Cause I think out, vodka's the only, I think all of the coloured stuff, apart from the Caruso, is non-alcoholic anyway, because mm. it's like orange juice and grenadine. So you could probably make a mocktail as well for like the kids or for people that for don't driving. drink or people that are driving. driving. Um, and obviously do an alcoholic version. In fact, they did, they did at um, the Coca-Cola bar because I remember her asking me if I wanted the alcohol and non-alcohol. Oh. Um, it was very expensive, it was mm. so good, wasn't it? So, so good. You sometimes get like rainbow shot flights as well, don't you? Where you get like a shot mm. of each colour. Mm. That might be a bit hardcore for a theme park day, but I mean... I'm going to go check that out and try some tequila. We are, and don't judge us, it is only 1.30 in the afternoon. Then it could even, could even get like these souvenir cups, like they do at Oktoberfest, um, Steins, and oh yes, Mardi Gras refill cup. Started doing the um, Coke refill for, um, sorry, didn't take your eye out then. <laughs> um, I think Towers do a Mardi Gras one as well, don't know. Mm, they do. Um, so they could do one that was for Pride, that was all in different rainbow colours. Um, and I mean, Thorpe are very good when it comes to events. It, in fact, Towers are as well, actually, at changing the colours of the logo. Yeah. yeah. Thorpe would be easy because there's sort of this infinity sign that they usually use to sort of do the beads for Mardi Gras or the blood for um, Fright Nights. I'm sure it's, uh, is it, they use a pretzel for Oktoberfest? I'm sure. Yes, yeah. I think yeah. they do, yeah. But that it could easily be a rainbow. Mm. Towers, I know it's got flags on it, you could easily replace that with rainbow flags. Mm. And I know for Mardi Gras they did a whole different colour scheme for it. And Pleasure Beach is literally just an exclamation, so that would be easy to yeah. to put into different colours. I think they did, they've done a gold version for like 100 and however old it is mm. now, 500 yeah. years old or <laughs> whatever they recently celebrated. In fact, the Thought merch doesn't even, it's not even the logo, is it? They could do it with the logo and it would look amazing, but the Thought Pride merch is just a rainbow and just says Thought Pride on it. Pride, yeah, yeah. So that's another um, option they don't even got. need to. Buddies, t-shirts, haven't they? 
pin badges. And I think it'd be a good idea if they did that sort of thing, you know, like things they can wear, like pin badges, t-shirts, to release it in May. And then if people want to go to the Pride event in June, mm -hmm. they can already they can buy it in advance. Yes. To... Or you can buy it and change there. I mean, we've seen people yeah. on the opening day of like Oktoberfest and March, yeah. rather wearing the new merch. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and this, this, I think they sell it online. They do, yeah. So you can probably buy it online mm -hmm. before you go, and then obviously you can go wearing the new Pride merch. You probably just have to pay for the yeah postage and packaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Blackpool also do like a, for Oktoberfest. Don't they do a duck? They do an Oktoberfest duck. Like a rubber duck? Yeah, like oh. a rubber duck. They do Oktoberfest oh. ducks. Imagine if they had a little pride duck. Yeah. That would be cute. <laughs> I'd love that. And I think that brings us on nicely to entertainment. Um, no, it probably won't be the same as like a big scale um, pride event, but we've seen parades going on at the Mardi Gras events that have been going on at the theme parks. They're usually quite colourful and mm. they could probably reuse a lot of that to be quite honest with you. Yeah. And like we say, they've already been featuring rainbows and pride flags in them. Um, and in fact, a lot of it, like the Towers one, the uh, that bear that was at the beginning is just just a bear, isn't it? And they've made it a special Mardi Gras hat. And yeah. Uh, so they do reuse... What? With the Fingers Smiler? No, it was Fingers Mardi Gras. Oh. With the Mardi Gras colours on it. Oh. You clearly weren't looking. Um, so they often reuse stuff and like you could use the teddy and put a rainbow hat on it. You could reuse a lot of... Um, the generic dancers, the ones that have got sort of like the feathers on and mm. stuff like that. If you put rainbow feathers on people, they often do a thing at Pride events where they put these big balloon... Oh yeah. You know where you get the long sort balloon, balloon stuff fit. Yeah. I suppose if they were doing it every day, they might get through a lot of balloons, but they're, yeah. they're sort of like a, like a rainbow hedgehog, aren't mm. they? It's very hard to describe, but they often do that. One thing that can make Chessington unique as well is I know in their Mardi Gras, they use animal costumes, don't they? They have mm. people dressed up as zebras and I don't know, I can't remember, leopards and stuff like that. Um, so if you could recreate those costumes and make the leopard stripes rainbow coloured or make the... leopard the, stripes? The, 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 yeah, I mean zebra stripes. stripes. The zebra stripes rainbow coloured or the leopard spots. They look amazing, I think they look brilliant. Mm. And they're already using a lot of colours in the Mardi Gras Festival anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. got the colourful beads, the feathers, the all sorts of really, haven't they? Pretty much any sort of entertainment they're already using, just dressed up in rainbow colours, mm. I think would work. I think that's all they would really need to do. Towers could even maybe reuse the crews that they've already got and just put them in different coloured. Yeah coloured outfit, yeah. they've got the Voodoo crew, mm. the Katanga crew. So if you imagine the Katanga crew, but instead of all the um, the sort of brown stuff with the feathers, they could put rainbow on them and it would work just as well, I think. Mm. Uh, in terms of performances they can put on, I mean, uh, drag acts are quite often associated with Pride events, aren't mm. they? So they could yeah. put that type of thing on. Stage hosts are often drag, aren't they? Yeah. Um, or even just if they do, uh, Towers could do something similar to Festival of Thrills where they have um, performers on like you know musical artists yeah. and just use local LGBTQ plus artists or not even local ones just LGBTQ plus country, independent yeah. artists yeah. that they can find mm -hmm. um, things like musical artists dancers that type of thing obviously at the big pride events you usually have um, famous hacks on don't you yeah yeah and which I don't think we would see well certainly not I don't think Thorpe or Chessington um, I mean, Towers Towers have had pink before, way back in the day, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, well, ages wow. and ages ago. Um, so, I mean, they could possibly afford a pop, a plot of it for. <laughs> they could possibly afford a proper act. I mean, Yorkshire Wildlife Park had steps. They did have steps, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. And it's quite, I know it's quite a big area, but I feel if Yorkshire Wildlife Park can put steps on that area, then Towers can probably yeah. get like the Venga boys and mm -hmm. fill the lawns, couldn't they? Yeah, I like maybe so. one, one night, maybe to like end. Yeah, like the, the, the final night, yeah. maybe even set some fireworks off. Mm. And does that have to be like Sorry. a big international star, does it? It can just be somebody. It just, who, no, someone that's. Nostalgic. Yeah, 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 someone that's um, well respected within the community. People mm. like Venga boys, old school artists like, I don't know, Sugar Babes. Atomic Kit and okay. those kinds yeah. of yeah. best club, those kinds of acts. Steps. I mean, Steps from yeah, the Yorkshire yeah. Wildlife Park, I imagine. Mm. And we only paid what? 20 quid to see them at 30 quid? Yeah, 30, 30 quid to see yeah. them at yeah. Yorkshire Wildlife Park. And whilst it is a big field, you've got to understand that you can take chairs there, so it's probably not as full as it looks. No. 
Um, and those lawns are pretty big. Mm. Also, let's not forget Blackpool because the, that arena at Blackpool is huge, isn't mm. it? And even Clubland don't fill it. So if yeah. you had a, if they hired a proper act and like charged a bit extra for the night, like if you did, did a day ticket and then a night ticket um, and then like a full event ticket, I reckon they could get someone mm. in there. Yeah, definitely. And they could yeah. attract some people. Yeah, and they've got sound systems for that, for that haven't they? It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a such a good, it's yeah. such a good event space. It really, really mm -hmm. is. And that would just be incredible. Imagine having a day at Pleasure Beach and then just ending in the arena with a few drinks or lots of drinks, depending on your persuasion, and dancing away to someone big. That'd be amazing. That'd be mm. amazing. That'd be absolutely incredible. And could like until like the big act comes on, I could just have like a DJ because um, Pop and Toro they had DJs on. Um, did Pop and Toro? Oh, yeah, when they did their Pride Night, yeah. yeah. Pride. Yeah, just not, mm -hmm. and the same with Drayton. Drayton have got DJs coming for their Summer Vibes event, so they could do that again. They could mm -hmm. have more DJs there, um, LGBTQ plus DJs, and um, probably play music that's more sort of commonly popular within the community, couldn't mm -hmm. they? Like cheesy pop. Yeah, cheesy mm -hmm. pop. That kind of dance music, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And um, I just thought you mentioned uh, Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, what if it doesn't, you know, not exclusive to, to theme parks. I mean, Dublin Zoo have done a Pride event in the past. Mm. Uh, Dublin Zoo have. Um, so I could imagine maybe London Zoo doing something like that because they already have um, in the summer summer nights. Um, and they also do have all only nights. Chester um, have started doing that. Chester have been doing. Yeah, and they've started doing summer nights. Uh, and so has Tricross Zoo. They've started doing summer mm. nights as well. They've been doing it for a few weeks. Yes, yeah. yeah. so there's potential for zoos to do it as well. Those were just our ideas, but um, if you have your own ideas, please do let us know. We know where you think would be a good place, how you would do it. Just share everything below in the comments. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a little discussion, mm. wouldn't it, about what other people think. Yeah. Um, and if this ever reaches any of the theme parks, we've done the hard work for you. All you need to do now is pull it off. The ball's in your court. And this is such an important thing as well, especially now. So it would be absolutely amazing if we finally get this type of event in the UK, wouldn't it? Mm. So there you go, there are our thoughts, and that's it from us for now. Um, do drop us a like, as we say, drop us a comment with your ideas if you've got any. Subscribe to us if you've never seen us before. We're going to have more of this type of content as well as all our usual vlogs coming up. And Adam, we'll see you next time we do our chat stuff.